Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars in 2020. I'm the Fusilier, and I've been thinking. Pulse phasers are really good. They are not essential. We need to focus on what is absolutely essential. All facilities in order and ready to study this problem. I've been a little diverted by uh, nice to haves lately, like the armor stuff. It is not essential, especially because our build will be very, very heavily into shield. Like, we can't make command or combat ships until we have Shields Mark IV, which is the plan. Shields Mark IV, and then we're beelining for top level energy weapon, like the super lasers. And that is the plan. I think it's a pretty good plan. So we've got all our recon data up, more or less. We know what the enemy's doing. We know where they are. We know that they have yet to expand their gate network very far. We don't have exact readouts, but it's... You know. It's somewhere around here-ish. Now, we, I want to get there to at least these worlds before the gates come in. And that means rushing to develop an actual battle fleet. We have the support fleet here. We just need to develop the tech for actual warships. As predicted last time, their gate, um... Uh, I don't like their chances. We have made a breakthrough, Elden. One turn. All it took was we one turn. Gift, Thanks to our friends, our quote unquote. We have received a gift, Elder. Ah. Our friends are wise. All the pieces are falling into place. We got Mark IV shields, shield amplifiers, quantum... I mean, the Lear basically always get these, but there are random rolls involved. Ah. Okay, we need this first. This stuff is like missile upgrades in that when you research it, it applies to every ship in the fleet. This stuff actually has to be equipped like when it's built. Which means, obviously, this is the priority. We begin the quest for knowledge. Big offensive coming in from the Ruby Imperium on the our friends, the Diamonds. I really don't think we need to see more of this. Even though it is over an inhabited world, so they probably won't do any damage. Um, I just want to build my fleet, guys. So we'll be skipping right along. We have made a breakthrough, Elder. That's the stuff. We Bet have shield. received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wealthy. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wise. Well, it would be two turns. Ah, uh, let's see. Eh, uh, I want really. I want like the best ships. This the best people. Could take us far, Elder. It will be especially handy. No, you guys got propriety. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Also, while we're waiting on these other techs, I figured, hey, why not? We got some uh, mining ships ready. We're going to start doing the mining thing, I think. Which means we take the resources from the other worlds and we bring them to our factory worlds. Because the Lear... You know, it may shock you to learn that the uh, dolphins that live in giant ocean worlds, you know, maybe not the best industry ever. They were kind of forced to industrialize and, uh, you, you know. Alright, I've done a couple small diversions. No more fucking around. All facilities in order and ready to study this problem. It is time now. There's no excuses anymore. Let's see here. Uh, strike Force, Command Control, Shield, Mark IV, Reflective Coating, Mano Ceramics. We can get better armor later, but since this plan relies heavily on having near impenetrable shields, I don't think it's necessary to get the best armor immediately. I think that, you know. Now, we research so fast that these diversions take, like, a turn or two. But still. And, uh, pulse phasers are so good 
it's better to have a dual mount pulse phaser in the medium position than a phaser. Like, pulse phasers just are apparently the best. And like I said, I've heard that they're good at point defense too, which implies you should just put pulse phasers on everything. But this is the command ship, so we're gonna... We're gonna be a little more varied than that. We'll have the central thing be pulsed phasers. But the front and back will have po phaser point defense, which are just really spectacular. Like, that's the shit Von Neumann used. That's the reason you can't hit them with missiles. This, this thing right here. This ship right here. Holy fuck, like, you could put heavy uh plasma cannons on this and that's that's another nice to have because that's not the point but just this baby right here this design the this combination of technologies this is what's going to get us forward and this is just the command ship but it's going to be going into battle which is why it needs all this shit so it isn't just shredded Call them Brave Leader. Yes, Elder. Ship design ready for construction. Now it's time. We have our support units. Now it's time to get... You know, I find myself running out of command ships a lot. Not necessarily because they get sniped, although that does happen. Um, I find myself needing command ships for, like, detached service and stuff. So, yeah, three seems appropriate. Really, we'll have time to make lots. We shall leave steel and fire, Elder. Alright, now that we have command ships, it's time to rename this fleet. Um. I got a little cubby. A little cubby with this. They have sort of an eccentric. You know, the actual AI leader named their ships stuff like Despair or whatever. Which I think is cool. I'll have to remember that for bigger ships. Or when we start doing actual warships. Alright. Uh, we're never going to be able to colonize this, so hang on. Hang on. One thing to check. Which direction? Oh. They, will be, they would be able to colonize this. Now, of course, the issue with that is they're not expanding their gates. Fucking, like, at all. I think it's because they feel pressured by the enemy, but they shouldn't. They're sending like three ships. You guys can handle three ships. You're the Hivers. You have infinite ships wherever you want in your empire. Ah well. We hear and agree. Money commences. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about, folks. That's what we're talking about. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Please. And this is with me leaning heavily on both our friends occasionally and our enemies every turn. And, of, of course, I've been using the spare money to also bulk up our trade fleets, which are now looking particularly healthy. If I might say so. And our budget, um, the budget's doing pretty good. We're not maxed on trade or anything. And I haven't even done stations and trade stations and stuff, because I figured the battle fleet is more important. But, um, we're making a lot of progress, especially these worlds that we just sort of grabbed, and it's like, now, it really didn't take all that long for even those quote unquote marginal worlds to be. Uh, developed. Hey, how's the mining going? Oh, here we are. Uh, we're working on it. Lear aren't very good at mining. I probably need the mega strip mining upgrade, but again, that's a nice to have, and we're in need to have mode. That's the stuff. That's the fucking. That's the shit. That's the shit. Our friends are wealthy. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wise. Man, I'm not even sure what to get now, like, in this moment. Because, like, 
we have the win combo now, and we really, like, there's lots of things we could do that are good. Could get better armor, heavy platforms, I mean, increasing all our industrial output by 10%. Oh, that's pretty strong. Maybe that one too, like, ready to study this problem. Far more important than that is the fact that we are finally, for the very first time in this LP, over a century after the game started, we will finally begin construction on our main warship. The one design that is going to hopefully carry us very far. I already showed you guys this in my announcement video, I was alive. But frankly, the Lear do it way better than the humans. Four cutting beams on every single cruiser. In addition to a host of smaller batteries of various caliber shooting the beam weapons we got PD on the front and the back and these weapons should hopefully shoot a little mark four shields strongest armor we can get them antimatter flicker warp this is I need a cool name I need um I'm gonna steal from the Morgi on this one. That works. Yes, Elder. Ship design ready for construction. Because they're gonna be doing a lot of uh, cutting and burning and just killing. Like, they're just fucking gonna kill everything. So, it's now time to shift from Freighter City, bitch. Thank God. Because all this time, all this time, I've been building them freighters. And we're not quite maxed out, but we're definitely at the point where I could stop caring as much. And now we can start doing what Sword of the Stars is here for. Warships. A lot. A lot. We shall of fucking warships. And fire, Every world around the homeworld will contribute. I want everything on this ship. Every developed planet in the area. I want yes, you on that shit. Elder, the vessels will be completed soon. They better be. We're on a timer with those hivers. Not a not a very fast moving timer, admittedly. We begin construction now. The oh. vessel is full of stone, Elder. It can hold no more. Nice. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wealthy. Could there are many theories about what to do with this stuff? Like, do we spread it around? Do we? Am I nuts or? Like, researching mining must have really increased the amount we get. I mean, I will note there are asteroids at our homeworld. I wonder if that's contributing. That's pretty cool. Any, I mean, the homeworld, making the homeworld better seems good to me. And uh, pursuant to that, yeah, I'll get it's one turn. I'll pick up. Now that we're building. In order and ready to study this problem. I mean, really, really what I should be doing is quark resonators to make everything immediately better. Like, why should I not have better stuff? Like, the, the mining ships are already strip mining, so that... No, yeah. Yeah, no, no yeah. yeah. The quest for knowledge. Not that the Mark 1s are necessarily going to disappoint. As a matter of fact, they're going to do rather the opposite. We shall we steal and fire, Elder. Small French patrol, sir. Just looking. Oh, well, we'll be giving them something to look at shortly, Richard. Alright, man. The formation's pretty simple. Get them. <laughs> Nothing like already having to update all your designs. Although not too much. It does add some HP. We shall remember yep. this design for the future. Luckily, because we only put this stuff on our warships, we really only need to upgrade 
these guys, and that's it. Otherwise, we're looking good. Yes, Elder. Ship design ready for construction. Uh, sadly, we don't get the fourth. That'd probably be a little greedy for the Leer, who are not supposed to necessarily be the best with like armor and stuff. I don't care that I'll have to be. Now I'm gonna move in other directions. Like, I mean, if I just knock that out, then I won't have to think about it, which is nice. We have been given all we need, Elder. I quite agree. You know, I feel like the further we advance, the the more certain things stay this goddamn same. So even the Leer at their absolute peak, there's a, uh, you know, we're very unlikely to get those turn, those one turn ambush hits like you can do so easily as humans. Although, uh, I have a plan for that. Nice. We have made a breakthrough, Elder. Maybe I shouldn't have named the ship V because now it's at the bottom of every list. I should have named it A. Nice job, guys. Alright, next. Well, which direction is it? Okay, it's that direction. Which means the Hivers won't be able to get much out of it. They're in that direction. Okay. No, that is the direction of the Hivers. So it's like we want things that are off the chart in the other direction. Although I don't see it. Maybe it all loops back around. Oh, what, if these are near our space anyhow. I'm not going to feel guilty because some bugs were slow. That's what it is. I don't want you to tell them that. The next time we go begging for money. Alright, we could wait forever. We could wait for various things to happen. However, as I've said before, faster would be better. I want to hit them in the flank. And I want to do it while I have the distinct impression uh, they're not doing so hot on the tech front. We're certainly, we pulled ahead to a big lead there. I would like to press that advantage. So... We've got reinforcements coming in. They're going to take two turns to get here. So, in two turns, on turn 121, the fleet of particular justice will depart for the enemy. After a century in development, I hope it'll be worth the wait. One thing I always wind up forgetting is they will be departing with a gemmer scanner. In fact, I could use a couple. The steel singers are ready to build. It'll be well worth it. All right. Just making sure. Okay. We're gonna give it one more turn to build five more refinery ships because I, I forgot that the fuel economy of fleet ships is fucking horrible. 77 light years sounds like a lot. That's barely enough to get up there. Particularly, um, I'm thinking Marklar is the first target because, like I said, I want to start at the back and just sort of sweep in. So, we're going to pick a target that is almost at there. Yes, Elder. We move as you command. Wait, no. Next turn. Next turn, we move out. I've also designated two worlds as my shipyard worlds. Of course, there's the home world, and then there's the other big boy around here that we're gonna we're gonna do some mining for. We're gonna build it up, and the ships around here will contribute to their you know, the secondary centers. shipyard. They, they'll just be our secondary shipyard. That's a good way to put it. Now uh, they'll just sort of handle that the same way. I'll sort of handle a lot of the mining in the background because the principle really is just this. We hear and agree. Mining commences. Ooh, looks like 
looks like our we got some big moves up here. Anything noteworthy? 14 ships, 11 ships. I'm fully confident in the capacity of our friends to do something about that. They're not even at any matter yet. We got a gate ship coming here. We should be able to get Caprica. I don't know why the enemy didn't expand here, but hey, I'll take it. I will send a fleet group to help these guys, I think. Um, whose job will just be to burn these worlds and then get the Diamond Imperium to advance. That's a sec. I mean, I am... I'm certain that this will be one of the biggest stalemates ever. This will be World War One over here. Whereas over here, <laughs> we're going to do Gallipoli without uh, so much of the, the horrible failing and dying. We have made a breakthrough, Elder. We love it. We do we love it, folks. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wealthy. We have received a gift, Elder. Every time. Our friends are wise. Okay, where's the... Okay. Next is this. This venture could take us far, Elder. More command points. It's good. I mean, you've noticed we only have cruiser class command ships. That's something we would want to address. But, eh. We're good. And we have now the order of battle of... Lots. Lots of... Almost a full page of refineries. And we're still at what I would consider barely accurate for the mission. Like, we could go there and get back close enough to where we could get refueling if things go horribly wrong. Yes, Elder. We move as you command. Now it's time to get moving. And I should be sticking with the freighters. Because despite what I say, there is much to do still. Like, wow. Yeah, when you have this much cash to just sort of spare it is probably a good idea to get with the um, the station construction which I'll do after I finish our sort of upgrades that are applied retroactively because it's like if you get mark 3 shields if you upgrade to mark 4 those ships will stay bad like like with engines it's like a physical thing but things like quantum capacitors you don't need to check a box it just works Made a breakthrough, Elder. We should also milk the enemies as long as possible because. Yes, are wealthy. thank you, thank you. Um, I should note this isn't 100% broken, maybe. I mean, it kind of is because this is total war, so that's absurd. Um,. When we start attacking them, they'll, they won't fund us anymore. They'll get mad at us. So, you know, they will eventually come to their senses in a little... Oh, man. Yeah. We need to get going. Matter of fact, once we get up there, we can start intercepting these gate fleets. And there's not a whole lot that the enemy will be able to do about it. I'm even thinking... Ooh. That would be a rough move. What if we did it this way instead? Ah, uh, which is better? Hitting them hard here? Or going for this? Tough to say. Uh, going to another target is just in case they get us on scopes for some reason. Although, thanks to the jammer, this looks no different from one of our scout fleets. So, you know, even though it very much is different. Doubling. Doubling. Annoyed yet? Our Too bad. Doubling. So we have Mark IV shields with quantum capacitors, which increases beam weapon rates of fire and shields, which literally was made for this synergy. The shield magnifier doubles that strength. Like, 
there are ways to defeat this combo, but the AI, it would require the AI to actually research Shieldbreaker rounds or Mason beams or something. The Leer sometimes kind of accidentally get that shit, but uh, not really. And yeah, stations sound good now. This I know we should be getting dreads. We'll get dreads eventually. I just, it's weird. I used to think dreadnoughts were the uh, be all end all. I really don't think that anymore. Oh, hang on. That's an actual, that's nothing. Like, um, even if I sent a force to protect that, they would die before they got the gate up, sadly. So uh, we'll hold off on that particular one. And uh, just keep rolling. Two turns. The trick is... How close will we be? Okay, our speed is 14, so we won't be close enough to the gravity well to fuck this up, I believe. Should be nice and simple. Let's find out. Oh, hang on, do I... We need to get all the turns of funding we can. Because they're about to hate us forever. That's the one... I guess one of the, the things you could argue for is to hit the hivers first to get rid of the gates and shit. Like, they won't be able to gate in if the hiver race doesn't exist. And... Um... We can keep milking our friends for funding. It's kind of annoying. The project is completed, Elder. That's a lot of something. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wealthy. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wise. Guys, please. Please. We do this every turn. And again, it's like I could not. But now that I know it's there, that's very dis. 12. Okay, this is the result of pumping the economy, is eventually you just casually earn more money than you start with the giant lump sum. Also, this thing I just did, that's something the AI never does as far as I can tell. Like, ever. It, it simultaneously negates our disadvantage, which is we slow down and give them plenty of warning and we can't do one turn in ambush, and it negates their FTL advantage of the Hivers, which is to gate in it. Not that they have any. I really think we're about to fucking kill some people. Just say, hey, that's, that's the idea. It's like I could be building stuff, but I just want to get into it. Ooh, Dreadnought. Just a Dreadnought Repair Station, otherwise just a bunch of cruisers. Um, let's get into it guys, we've waited four parts. We'll demand their surrender, but in case they don't feel like giving their surrender, we will, uh, get them. We will never surrender. Okay. Alright. This is what a fully upgraded Lear fleet looks like, boys. This is what that looks like. We're going to be hosting a personal demonstration. Form up, and proceed. We don't need to be, like, on top of each other, guys. Guys, guys. Look, just go to the side. This was a surprise attack, so they should be out of position. We're moving pretty fast, I gotta say. You know what I don't see? I didn't see any stations, really, like defensive stations. And because we hit in one turn, the enemy fleet appears to be just a tad bit out of position. So we're just going to proceed to, uh... Yeah, the... Foil. That's the pulse phasers going off. Go off, queen. Slay. 
eh, that doesn't look like very impressive point defense. We saw the pulse phasers trying to shoot there. Didn't quite do it, folks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. the enemy fleet by the way. Oh, I see something. God. Probably some police cutters or something. I'm trying to make a brave stand. But uh, it's not gonna happen guys. This is the culmination of a hundred turns worth of effort and it doesn't look like the enemy was quite prepared. They were busy building stations and stuff. Which we elected to hold off on Fucking beautiful. Max level. Oh man. Look guys. I uh I respect you, I really do. Do you have any dorsal guns? You know, I actually want these guys here because then the cruisers won't spawn in. It looks like you guys don't have any command ones. I'll line up. No, Goulet Bombardment, stop shooting. Those are Lear down there, so we can just sort of take them as our civilians. Which we will be doing. The Infinite Empire will expand. We're probably not going to get the station. Yeah, they had a whole lot of nothing. I'm not going to accept the ceasefire because I'd like to kill some of them. It looks like they had no warships of any description. Just a big fat nothing burger. There's a station around here, but you have to like chase it around the orbit. I'm not good for that. And I have learned new combat tricks, but I only have to do that when like there's any need. Like for example, I now know how to make the ships point in the right direction very powerful when you do happen to, in fact, yes, command we will do um, we must. Be heavy beam weapons. They do shoot each other a little bit, but that doesn't matter. The shields are so thick, they can accidentally shoot each other, and that literally doesn't even change the color of command the shields. Oh, oh, hang on, get them. we get them? Oh, we can get them. Don't be dramatic, guys. Ah, uh, always have a command ship, guys. That feels so good. The battle is not decided, Elder. We pull back for more supplies. Perhaps a little generous. I do think we took the first round on points, guys. Vessels coming near, Elder. We have made a breakthrough, Elder. We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wealthy. Can I move this? We have received a gift, Elder. Our friends are wise. Come on. Doesn't like that. I... I... Can I get the... Hang on. Where's the battle report? What is... What's the number? Can I move you? Or are you stationary? That's fine, I can move the other ones around you. It's fine, it's fine. Oh god, there's some lag on that one. It really doesn't like that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I am gonna, in fact... There we go. Little screenshot for the road. If someone killed half a billion of my people my response to them would not be I'm not mad I'm just disappointed now the real question the, the the only real question of this battle oh yep they uh <laughs> oh my god you have to die. at least <laughs> okay so, so, wait, no, I'm reading those numbers wrong. That's well over a billion. I kill a billion of you, and you're like, 
I'm not going to give you any more money until you learn to be. Now, now there are 260 million civilians still on that surface, and we're Lear, so they can just become citizens of our empire, and uh, they may have personally conflicted feelings, and that's, you know, valid. But, um, it, that doesn't matter. Oh my god. I can't even... There, that's good. This venture could take us far, Elder. I can't even imagine... Okay, we'll stay another turn, wipe them out, and then begin settlement. We can't do it now because, you know, if I had auto-battled, everything would be dead, but... That would be so much less satisfying than doing them up proper. It's also possible these are just freighters that were forced in by our attack. We don't need that again. Now, we won't fire on the civilians because the colony's gone. System yeah, thank you. Updates. The project is completed, Elder. Nice job, guys. And, uh... Yeah, let's see what you can do about that. We might we not get them. We might not get them. All we need, Elder. The original way that I discovered this particular absurdly super powerful combination of shield blazer was uh, it was actually shield and projector with antimatter projectors. Also a great time. Anywho. Slashing down now. We're going to land an administrative staff to oversee the rebuilding efforts. And Marklar will become the, the cornerstone of our new campaign. Although there's really no reason we all have to stay here. Like, there's really no reason we all have to stay here. I'm going to, you know, tweak some dials and we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Actually, I took too long enjoying the slaughter, so next time on Let's Play Sword of the Stars, I think that's a good intro to what's about to happen to the rest of these shiny, beautiful, glittering ocean worlds. Um, so tune in next time where we'll... I mean, I'm sure they'll stop us. I'm sure they got it under control, guys. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be just fine.